In this tutorial, I'm going to create a virtual machine with VMware Workstation 12 Pro. Now, I'm given some options here. I can create a new virtual machine. I can open an existing virtual machine. I can open a virtual machine by connecting to a VMware remote server, or I could connect to VMware vCloud Air. Let's create a new virtual machine. So I'll click this button, and I'll choose Typical or Recommended. Now I'm given choices between installing from an installation disk, if I had uh, some installation media like a DVD installer for an operating system, or I could install from a disk image file directly from an ISO file, or I can create my virtual machine first and then install the operating system afterwards. I'm going to choose this last option. I'll click Next, and now I need to choose which operating system I'm intending to put on this virtual machine. I'm going to be using Linux and I'm going to install Ubuntu Lite or L Ubuntu. So I'm going to choose version Ubuntu 64 bit since that's the nearest version for L Ubuntu. I'll choose next and I'll title or give my virtual machine a name. I'll put here L Ubuntu. And then I can also choose the location. I'll accept the default location, but if I have another drive, I could choose another drive to store this virtual machine. I'll click Next. I'll choose the default of splitting the virtual disk into multiple files, which is the recommended option. And the maximum disk size is 20 gigabytes. I think I can get away with making it a little bit smaller, so I'll change that to 15. Okay, so I'll click Next and now I'm ready to click finish unless I want to customize my virtual hardware in the virtual machine. I'm going to choose this option, customize my hardware, and right at the top I'm in memory so I'll change the default memory of one gigabyte to two gigabytes by changing 1024 here to 2048. Now I'll use 2048 megabytes of memory I'll click on processors and change the number of cores from one processor to two. And then for new CD DVD, I'll choose this optical drive setting. This will be my virtual optical drive. And instead of using the physical drive on my computer, I'm going to choose use an ISO image file. That way the optical drive will boot directly into my installation media, my ISO image. So I'll need to browse for that. And there it is. I'll select it. You can see it's loaded in here. And everything looks pretty good. I'll accept the default settings for my network adapter, which is in NAT mode. And I'll click Close. And Finish. So now my virtual machine has been created. You can see the settings of the virtual hardware right here. All I need to do now to start the installation is power on the virtual machine. And I can do this here. Or here, I'll just click power on this virtual machine. So my mouse is now captured by the virtual machine in this window. Now I'm given some choices here with El Ubuntu. I can try El Ubuntu without installing, but I do want to install it. So I'm going to use the arrows on my keyboard and arrow down to install El Ubuntu and then press enter. This should now start the installation process. Notice that if my mouse is captured by the virtual machine, I'm given instructions to press Control-Alt to release the mouse from the virtual machine. Alright, I'm presented with the installation screen, so I'll capture the mouse again into the virtual machine window, choose the language, press Continue. I'll choose this to install the third-party software. Click Continue. On the next screen, I'm given a choice, and this, if you're new to creating virtual machines, don't let this fool you. It gives me a warning. This computer currently has no detected operating systems. What would you like to do? Erase disk and install El Ubuntu. Now, this doesn't mean it's going to erase my hard drive on my computer. It's going to erase the virtual disk uh, the virtual hard disk of this virtual machine. So I do want to choose option one here, erase disk and install El Ubuntu. So I'll click install now. And I'm given another warning. I'll click continue. 
I'll accept my default location. Choose my keyboard layout. Notice that I may need to scroll the window over. No problem. Give myself a name and a password. If I want to, I can have the system log me in automatically, but for security reasons, I wouldn't want to choose that. And if this needed to be a secure system, I could encrypt my entire home folder. I'll click Continue. And now the necessary files are being copied, and the installation is proceeding. Okay, the installation is complete, and all I need to do is restart my system to start using my new VM. So I'll click Restart Now. I'm given a message to remove the installation medium and then press enter. I'll just press enter because my installation media is the ISO file which I connected to my virtual optical drive. Okay, I'm presented with a logon screen. I'll put in my password and log in. I now have access to L Ubuntu.